When downloading subtitles for anime online, it is not uncommon for the subtitles to be mistimed. Now I know that sounds really scary, but it's actually very easy to fix. Basically, if you have a mistiming error, then all the subtitles should be off by a set amount. All we need to do is select every single subtitle, then find out how much it's off by and simply reduce all the subtitles at once by the amount that it's off by. This means that we do not have to manually click on every subtitle and retime it one by one. And the tool that we're going to be using to do this is a tool called Aegis Sub. It's completely free and I will link it in the description. When you are on this website, go to the downloads button on the very top. If you are on a Mac, then choose the OS X version by clicking here. And if you're running Windows, then choose regular install 64 bit by clicking here. Choose the 32 bit version if you know for a fact that you are on a 32 bit system. Otherwise, you're probably on a 64 bit system. Once you have it downloaded, open the exe and that will pop the installer. Just follow the instructions and install Aegis Sub. One more thing to note before you even try messing with the subs is that oftentimes if you're downloading stuff off Kitsuneko, there will be more than one available option for the subs. So for example, for Rico Rico, there's one version here, there's a second version here, and then there's a third version here. If one of them is messed up, you could just try a different one and see if it works any better. Okay, so assuming there is no better version, you may end up with something like this. I'm going to play this as an example to show what a desync looks like. As you can see, the subtitles are obviously late. First of all, what we're going to do is open the subtitle file in Aegis Sub. And the way we do this is we right click on it and then go to open with. And in here, instead of choosing Aegis Sub, choose open with another program. Now we select Aegis Sub and make sure we check this so that all subtitle files will default to opening with Aegis Sub then press OK. All right, great job. Now we're in Aegis Sub. It looks very scary, but trust me, it's very easy to use. Now, I want you to pay attention to the first line here and look at the start time. You can see here that it says 1 second 62 milliseconds. Now let's jump back to the anime and compare when does the first line actually show up. OK, so let's pay attention. As you can see, the first line shows up before the one second mark even comes. So based on this information, I can guess that every subtitle should be off by approximately one second. Okay, let's fix this. Select the first subtitle and then press Ctrl A or Command A to select all. Once you have all the subtitles selected, go into the top here and under timing, choose time shift. You should see this new menu pop up. And the first option here is how much we want to adjust the time by. So I'm going to enter in one second. Next, we want to choose whether we want to move all the subtitles forward by one second or backwards by one second. So in this case, we want to move it back by one second. Next, we want to establish our selection range, and that's going to be only the selected rows. And finally, we want to adjust both the start and end times. Press OK. And before you save, make sure you close off your media player. Otherwise, it won't save properly. So let's close off VLC and then hit save. Then let's reopen the video file and drag in the subtitles and let's find out whether it worked or not. All right, great, so it worked. You aren't out of the blue yet, however, because you probably still need to make two more adjustments. The first adjustment you'll have to make is probably going to be after the opening sequence, because usually in Japan, when an anime plays on TV, they have the That's usually cut out of the web versions, which explains the delay. When readjusting these subtitles, make sure you're only selecting the subtitles that you want to move. So go into Aegis Sub and find the point where there starts to be a delay. Select that subtitle, scroll down to the very bottom, hold Shift and select the last subtitle. This will make sure that you only select the subtitles from where you selected downwards. The second spot where you probably have to shift again is after the midpoint. You know when animes do the thing like Yeah, that for Japanese TV is where the commercial plays, which explains why there may be a second mistiming. By the way, should you make a mistake like shifting something way too far backwards, the fix, as you can imagine, is to just shift it back forwards. Now that you've gone through the effort of retiming all of these subtitles, don't forget that you can use a tool like Migaku to scan the subtitles for all of the words that you don't know. Watch this video next to find out how to use Migaku to learn Japanese while watching anime.